I was watching the BBC just a little while ago and um, they were talking about this new COVID-19 treatment. They called it new and they were making a big fuss about it. It is real, like, sort of, they said, you know, it, it reduces mortality rates and it's uh, it comes in an inhaler. And the minute they, they didn't give it a name in the, um, in the actual video, um, they called it a protein. And I think they probably didn't give it a name because if you search online for that name, you'll probably come up with Cuba. Cuba developed this drug, this so-called new drug that British scientists are so excited about. And they say the results are really, you know, it's not a cure, but the, it, it reduces the mortality rate. It, it reduces the shortness of breath. It, people get out of hospital quicker. And if they're in hospital, um, inhaling this makes a huge difference. So it's actually, you know, a really, it's a good drug. And the thing is that Cuba has had this drug now for at least a couple of decades. It was developed a couple of decades at least ago. And they gave this drug to China to use. And China was has been using it since like early January to great effect. It's really made a huge difference to the recovery rates of Chinese people. So it's been known already for a while now that this drug is very good. And I would hazard a guess that Western countries have just completely ignored it because it's from Cuba, which means that they basically ignored a very important and effective drug that could have reduced tremendous suffering as well as it could have reduced mortality rates as well, which is kind of disgusting. And the name is slightly different. I think they call it um, interferon beta or something. It's a slightly different name, what they say it's called in this uh, video that I watched from the BBC. Uh, but the name of the Cuban drug is Interferon Alpha B. So either it's the same drug or it's a slight, it, it's a very, very close cousin to this Interferon Alpha B. I'd say it's probably the same drug. It comes in an inhaler just like Al Interferon Alpha, Alpha B has always come in an inhaler. I just find it sort of so appalling that the dysfunction, you know, this imperialist dysfunction um, that, that basically ignoring a life-saving drug that could have cre caused such a reduction in suffering and also death and could really benefit also, um, it's, it comes in an inhaler, so it could be, you know, sort of basically people that don't want to go to hospital, but maybe they, they can afford to go to a GP or they're afraid to go to hospital or maybe in poorer countries like Brazil. When I say poor, I mean that the Brazilian government and Bolsonaro are basically doing an absolutely uh, criminal job, just like um, Donald Trump, but worse, I think, a criminal job of dealing with this coronavirus pandemic. So... Um, Anyway, it, it just, I just, when I watched this, I just thought, you've got to be kidding me. You know, you've got to be kidding me that they're, they're literally saying, oh, British scientists have developed this new drug and we're so excited and it hasn't been uh, properly tested yet. And it's, you know, and all, yada, 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 all this absolute garbage. And meanwhile, you know, there are people dying and, and suffering, particularly in nursing homes. I mean, you know, gagging for air, you know, air hunger is a dreadful, dreadful thing. Just ask anybody who's had some lung disease, you know, or, you know, any one of these awful lung diseases or cancer, lung cancer. It's a dreadful thing. And to think that they have probably, I mean, I can't say this for sure, but it looks like it, to think they have ignored this drug, even though that I, I was aware of this, like, in January, about this drug and how effective it was in China, and that, and and you know, it was if you read Telesur, they were talking about it on Telesur English back in January. That's seven months ago. Anyway, I would uh, I would um, urge people now that uh, they they've deemed to sort of uh, take notice now of this drug because obviously they're so desperate in the UK. Um, I would uh, I would. I would suggest to people that because it's obviously now, that, you know, and they said they're going to spread it around the world sort of thing, <laughs> you know, like really. I would suggest people um, contact your local government representatives and urge them to sort of um, look into this and urge them to, you know, get, get this drug in as quickly as possible 
and so that if there's when there's a second wave I mean if you live in the United States that second wave is going to be a real doozy because it still hasn't finished with the first wave there's crazy amounts of people you know catching it at the moment but it would be behoove everybody no matter where you live in the world to try and get a hold of this try and get your government representative to get a hold of this particular drug before the second wave hits and also right now while the first wave is still happening and it'll make um it'll reduce um a lot of suffering and probably a number of deaths um and so it's something we could all do is urge government representatives to do something about that anyway that's all i want to say i'll leave a link to this particular video um of the bbc's and i'll also leave some links a link from telesur about alpha, inter, interferon alpha b that they posted many months ago so anyway thanks for watching my name is trish roberts you're watching faint signals from vega please subscribe if you haven't already click the notification bell click the like button if you like the content and consider checking out the videos at the end um, at the end screen there so thanks for watching till next time bye for now